Are micro brands the future of the watch industry? With the ever increasing backlash against brands such as Rolex, they may well be. But what's so special about micro brands? Well, innovation, imagination, availability, outstanding quality, the list goes on. And where can you see all these watches in one place? The UK based World Time exhibition held annually in London. This is a premier event in the UK watch world, especially for international exhibitors as well as homegrown designs. You won't find any watch giants here. This event is the purview of mid to small brands and to be honest, it's all the better for that. Once again, the show was held at the Sofitel stylish Zen Garden area, which is a sophisticated, large and spacious area laid out for the specific needs of such an event. Displayed around the circumference of the room were over 50 brands on 45 separate tables with manufacturers coming from as far afield as USA, Italy, Taiwan, Switzerland and of course lots from the UK. It's a short show, only running from 1400 to 1900, so the biggest challenge was seeing everyone. Here are some of our favourites from what proved to be a great day. Apier, a London startup brand bringing additive manufacturing to the world of horology. So what is additive manufacturing? What this means is we start with a powder. So this is a grade 23 titanium powder. We go for a layer by layer process where we start with a powder. We use four lasers to selectively sinter the metal into 2D shapes and we build that up layer by layer process and then we end up with our near net shape. So this has our watch case within inside but we need to uncover it um, and this is where you can see the gyroid, the, the complicated structures that we're able to achieve with additive manufacturing. After that we then take it to our uh, CNC machine supplier uh, within, in Petersfield and they take that case and they uncover our watch case within. So this is a, a rough machine part, this isn't finished, but we wanted to show it at the trade show. You can see here we're starting to get the shape that we require and that we're almost happy with and machining in the grooves for the O-rings uh, and the dial to sit in. We actually realized that there is a bit of a gap here. Nobody is using additive manufacturing in this way. So when designing the watch, we wanted to make sure that our watches are familiar, but different in the sense that we have these lattice cutout windows to showcase the additive manufacturing within. Walking around the show, of course, you bump into lots of interesting people whilst wielding the camera. My name is Andreas Grigoriadis, and I'm the founder of World Time UK. World Time UK uh, is, a, is a fair that came out of a group of friends Friends who were also brand owners asked us if they could have a little table on the side. The first time we did this, that where we had three tables with friends, with, and that was two brands and one of our friends with a time grapher. Uh, here we are seven years later with a room full of brands. We try to make it possible for many brands that would not otherwise uh, have the opportunity to showcase their watches. As you walk around the room, you will find very recognizable brands, but you will also find brands that you have never heard about. Also, a lot of these companies, they do, they do not have their products stocked in retail locations. They only work online. So again, it's an opportunity for everybody to see them, say hello and see the products um, in real life. Eco Nutra. It's always interesting to meet manufacturers from around the globe, and Eco Nutra is a small Italian micro brand focused with some real intensity on the subject of durability. Our main idea is to combine uh, Italian design and Swiss watchmaking, uh, and the main concept uh, is about uh, the durability of our product, uh, not only in terms of quality, but also in terms uh, of design. So. That's why we decided to create a, some kind of time-proof design. Firstly, with uh, the Cortina collection, which is dedicated to the very first uh, Olympic winter game in Cortina. Here we have the Cristallo. This is our very first diving watch and we are very proud of it. We couldn't pass Elliot Brown because we love them and we stock them. We were lucky enough to spend some time with Guy, who's their head of sales, and he took us through some of the brand's watches and details. At Elliot Brown, we are a uh, an extreme sports watch brand that you can wear every day. We have a device called the Movement Shield System in the case, which acts as a suspension system. Uh, and allows the watch to be worn in pretty much any environment. We work very closely with the military and produce a lot of military specification watches that filter through into our main collection. The latest creation, the Beachmaster, named after a famous individual within the Royal Marines, has a countdown and count up capability, and it's already sold out. 
uh, about 2019, just before lockdown, we started conversations with the Royal Marines. So there is a uh, there's a there's a guy in the military called the Beachmaster, and he is the the person who is in charge of beachhead landings. So he counts uh, down to uh, mission start and then up to mission completion. So we have created uh, this watch. Uh, our Beachmaster. Uh, it's a fully Swiss automatic. Uh, it has a patent on it because uh, this had not been done before and we believe that we're probably the first uh, British watch company that has a timing mechanism, a patent for a timing mechanism for, for about 50 years. Uh, this retails at 2,375 and uh, we sold out instantaneously. So we first launched this at Watch Pro uh, last year um, as a pre-order uh, and by the time we got stock in in May uh, we sold out in a day. We had the second tranche of product in in, uh, in beginning of June and we sold that out within in, in about three days. We have just launched our quartz version of the same watch so all the same functionality same patent but just with a uh, Swiss quartz movement in it and that uh, is available on a, a strap from 695 and a bracelet from 795. Haven Tuvali is a fascinating company with the staff coming all the way from Taiwan just for this show. One of the best parts about such events is you get to see really unusual products and this watch definitely qualifies. The case, the bracelet, the movements were originally manufactured in the 1970s. So it's like more than 50 years old. So I bought the case, I bought the movement, and I remade the dial, the hands, everything myself. So what's special about this model is the dial itself is made from cotton paper. So it's the paper we use for Chinese calligraphy, Chinese paintings. I thought you'd be interested to use it for a dial. When the paper is dialed, it, gave, it gives a different pattern. It gives, like under the light, you can see a different vibration of the colors. It's the ultimate in recycling and the dials are simply beautiful. We were also lucky to see a prototype which has a dial made from cigar paper. I just made it last week for this event. It's a cigar dial, so the dial is actually made from cigar. So I'm hoping like early next year or later this year, the cigar dial can be released. Wolfgang from Heinrich in Stuttgart focuses on highly original watches, but with a vintage, not homage feel. This is one of the new models. It's called Taucher LX. Very well received so far. It's a stainless steel elegant watch with golden hands and golden indexes. And there's another one, which is the Taucher Sport, which has is the same watch basically, but has a different dial. And uh, you can see it's a completely different look. So not that elegant, but more robust and sporty. They have some new exciting models, which are definitely channeling a vintage vibe. And the latest model is, wait for it, based on a prehistoric shark. And then I have a prototype of my new watch, which is called Helicoprion, which is an ancient shark, uh, which had a kind of a, a spiral saw mouse. And I took this idea up and created a watch dial out of it. And yeah, I'm very excited how this will be received. You are the first one which will see this watch, so very excited. Isotope, a UK brand coming from Harpenden, which we just reviewed on the Watch Gecko magazine. Their first success was a dive watch, and all their models are based on popular culture and architecture. During the interview, they told us about their multi-stage design process and some of the classics they have planned for the future, including a new chronograph. We are releasing the chronograph in a couple of months, and uh, this has been a project that has been in production for the last three years in terms of the concept, in terms of design, in terms of prototyping. We started uh, with a classic approach and then we, you know, I start say, seeing, because for example, there were about 80 classic chronographs released in the next, in the last few, couple of years. And I said, no, we need to change all these. We need to go uh, in a different direction. And um, that's what we try to do. So I think that that chronograph, it's everything I love in watchmaking in terms of design and in terms of the movement as well, because it's, um, it's very, very, very interesting. When you see it, you'll understand why. It was great to see Richard from Studio Underdog again. He's now at his third show and it's always difficult to describe Studio Underdog watches. Suffice to say they're bold, colorful and have a 1960s twist. And if you think you've seen everything you can do with a watermelon, then keep watching the video. A lot of people know the brands from my first watch, which uh, is this uh, lovely little watermelon themed number. This series is based on 
almost 1960s chronographs. And then you've got this really modern playful dial that's a bit of a juxtaposition, a bit of a design twist. So this was uh, a lockdown project. So I started it about two years, two and a half years ago during lockdown when I was bored at home, uh, trying to pass the time because all my favorite pubs were shut. And I started on this, essentially gave myself a design brief. My background's in product design. I set myself a, a brief to create a fun watch. You know, the watch world tends to be quite serious. So I wanted to do something quite fun and playful and just lighten the mood, especially when everyone was locked down at home. And it seemed to really resonate with the enthusiast community. Um, and it's been a, you know, it's been keeping me busy ever since. Richard has a refreshing attitude to the watch industry, which by his own admission can be a little serious and stuffy at times. We're building up to the launch of a new watch, which is a field watch, which we'll be launching later in the year. So I'm really excited to see what people think. You know, this is the first time that I'm introducing a watch that isn't a chronograph. And it's my opportunity to, uh, to introduce the second album of Studio Underdog, really. Inspired by everything connected to Venice, culture and its history, Alessandra took us through the latest watches by Venizianico. Some of these have incredibly unusual designs, such as the model which has copper fragments embedded into the glass. These uh, features have been in a glass, which is a, a material coming from Venice, which is uh, a glass. And inside the glass, inside the moisture, you have uh, some fragments of quartz and copper. And you see a very sparkling effect. This model also features a tungsten bezel insert, which is uh, the hardest materials known, and uh, this is impossible to be scratched. So we did a lot of R&D, and finally we, uh, we were able to produce a bezel insert with this feature. He wouldn't give too much away, but he did say there are multiple exciting projects, all inspired by Venice. Zero West. I confess probably one of my favorite brands from the show because I just love the ethos of everything they do. We produce our own uh, watches, uh, we build them in-house in our boathouse studio down on the south coast. And some of the watches have got historical metal in the back, like metal from a Lancaster Dam Buster, Aston Martin DBR1, and recently the Flying Scotsman to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the iconic locomotive. One of our most popular watches is the DB80. It's our new 41 millimeter. So we're only making 50 of these watches. The dial is based on an altimeter. All our watches have a latitude and longitude and date code on the dial. And they reference an iconic moment in history because zero west, uh, for those that don't know, is uh, zero degrees west. It's the prime meridian that runs through Greenwich. It's where time starts. So as a result, and part of our brand identity, it's the reason why we, uh, uh, denote a latitude and longitude. So this one actually goes to the Sorpa Dam, which is one of the three dams that on that mission in 1943 that the Lancaster raid. But what's really, really special about this watch is the material in the back. We were very fortunate to acquire some of the bodywork from ED825, one of the 19 Lancasters. And in the back here, we've designed the watch to uh, exhibit this rare material. So as I said, we're only making 50 of these. Uh, it's just part of the Lancaster range that we launched earlier on in the year. It's been really, really, really popular. Andrew also tells us about a Spitfire Merlin engine that they turned into a coffee table. If you visit, you can have a coffee in a Martin Baker ejector seat. What a great way to spend the morning. H2O, another micro brand hailing from Germany. They're famous for their dive watches. We were told a fascinating story during our interview that they currently hold the world record for a watch that can go to the deepest depth. This was previously held by Rolex, who sent a special sea dweller down to 11,000 meters of depth to dive the Marianas Trench. The watch which catches the most interest is our world record uh, dive watch. It's called the H2O Kalma to 25,000 meter. This watch was uh, pressure tested in Germany and certified to 25,600 meter water resistance, which is now the world record. We tried to max out the technical limit of our watch design. Now, I'm not entirely sure how you would get down to 25,000 meters and get back again alive, but it's good to know that your watch will survive it. This is a mighty impressive bit of equipment. When you think of Norway, what comes to mind? Glaciers, forests, snow, but definitely not watches. Well, Bragdur is changing that perception. It's a new brand started by a lovely couple and their watch are geared towards adventurers and outdoor enthusiasts. 
We saw their Black Frog watch, which has a poem written on the strap and an inscription on the rehort. They had a couple of prototypes, the Orange Skin, which was inspired by a poem, and also the Poseidon watch, which came to be because of an idea from a Norwegian watch forum. Going back to the Black Frog, Bragdur have created a special edition watch for Project Zero, which is, quote, an expedition of ice and sea, entirely carbon neutral, traversing the most vulnerable and remote environments on Earth, unquote. Bragdur aren't that popular outside of Norway, but they would like to branch out, and that's why they've exhibited at World Time UK. Bowl watches never disappoint, and their latest creations were on display, such as the beautifully bold Engineer 3 Marvelite chronometer with T25 tritium to the rainbow variant with visible power reserve. For us, the star of the show was the Engineer M Skin Diver 3 Beyond at 41.5mm. It features the RRM 7309-C calibre, equipped with 80 hours of power reserve while maintaining COSC standards. H3 Tritium completes an outstanding package. Subdelta attended the show with their trademark bold Ace Mark II pilot watches. Anti-magnetic with aviation instrument-like clarity, these watches are synonymous with supreme legibility. Made from XM19 submarine steel and anti-magnetic to a thousand ghosts, if you are setting out on a secret mission, this could be the watch for you. Watch gatherings are always worth attending, as you meet like-minded people and come away realising you're not alone in being into watches. There are smaller get-togethers all around the country and countless meets and exhibitions globally, so track down where your nearest is and drop in. So that's our roundup of World Time 2023. Let us know what your favourite microbrands are, where are you at the show? Tell us what you like and we'll try and cover it in the near future.